From breakthrough cases to booster shots, there are still lots of questions about COVID-19. WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall is back with us tonight with some answers. Dr. Malika, let's start with Paul. Um, he wants to know if you are vaccinated and test positive for COVID, how do you know when you're no longer contagious and when the virus is gone? You don't get a retest unless you want to pay for it on your own. <laughs> so, Paul, I would say, you know, if you test positive, really the same protocols apply whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, which means that you need to stay in isolation for a full 10 days. If you're feeling better, then you can sort of go back out in society, come out of isolation, and you do not need to retest to prove that you are negative. That's important. So Joanne and Quincy wants to know, after her second COVID vaccine, she felt tired and her feet were freezing. <laughs> She's asking, is it likely that a booster will have the same effect it won't stop me from getting it, though. Oh, good. I'm glad it's not going to stop you from getting your booster if and when you need it. But, you know, I think it's really unclear whether you will have the same side effects from a booster shot as you did for your initial doses. So, for example, some people experience this thing called COVID arm, which caused mm -hmm. a rash and some discomfort in the arm after their first or second dose of the Moderna vaccine. Um, but sometimes they had a milder case once they got their second shot or they didn't experience it at all. Obviously, you should talk to your doctor about your concerns. John wants to know, do we still have to sanitize groceries after taking them home. No, John, unless you feel <laughs> comfortable doing so. I mean, we've really determined that the coronavirus is spread predominantly in yeah. the air through respiratory droplets. That's not to say that you couldn't still get infected by touching a contaminated object and then touching your face. Um, so it's why we still recommend frequent hand washing and sanitizing. So I would say after you open up your mail or you put your groceries away, just wash your hands. As a, as a habit, exactly. And hygiene is so important. Dr. Malika, thank you so much. You're welcome. She always offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, there are three ways to reach her. You can email her, Dr. Malika at CBS.com, on Twitter at Malika Marshall, or Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.